Hi, Flores. This is going to be for June 1st through June the 7th, okay? What energy is coming towards Taurus, please, for June 1st through June the 7th? If it resonates, make sure you guys leave me a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment and subscribe. All right, guys. So at the bottom of the deck, we have the Three of Wands. Three of Wands talks about waiting for your ships to come in, okay? Maybe some of you guys could be dealing with the Capricorn or you're just waiting. Um, you're waiting for something, okay? Maybe there's a lot of conflict. Okay. Mm. Okay. All right. So you're going to be feeling burdened. Okay. There's a lot of work that needs to be done. A lot of things that need to be done. Okay. You could be feeling like the weight of the world is on your shoulders. Okay. Um, the challenge is there's something, some type of conflict. Okay. Maybe there's some competition. But I feel like you've been being feeling the need to be patient here because we have the two of cups could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio involved. But this talks about connections. OK, this talks about unions, spiritual unions, um, business partnerships, whatever the relationship is, whatever type of relationship it is. I feel like it could be causing some um, burdens. And I feel like you've been being very patient here with the seven of Pentacles. OK, you've been being real patient. In the recent past, some of you guys could have been dealing with an Aquarius. We have the star card here, which is, you know, wish fulfillment. It talks about hope. It talks about faith, okay? So we have the nine of pentacles clarifying that Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn's energy. But this talks about doing things on your own, being independent, getting your shit together, focusing on you, okay? So maybe in the recent past, you was hoping to, you know, come up and focus more on yourself and get your shit together, okay? Um, it looks like the desired outcome is the Ten of Cups. So Ten of Cups does talk about, this is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy as well. But this also talks about emotional fulfillment. It talks about happy happy life, the uh, wife, husband, kids, you know, the dog. This is everything, having everything, okay? And celebrating it, coming together, reuniting, okay? So maybe there is some type of reunion, some type of get together here with the Three of Cups. Maybe you're getting together with someone and you're feeling very happy about it, okay? So that's your desired outcome. But then it looks like what's coming into the near future is the Eight of Pentacles. So there's a lot of work that needs to be put in, some effort that needs to be put in, okay? But then maybe you feel like somebody is coming to take here with the Seven of Swords. Some of you guys could be dealing with the Air Sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. But feelings as if someone's coming to take the work that you put in or take your efforts or, um, you know, manipulate you. If I the seven of swords, let's see. Okay. Maybe you find out that someone um, is being sneaky, okay? With the sun card here, this is getting, gaining clarity. So maybe you realize that someone is being sneaky. Possibly while you're at work. If I had the Eight of Pentacles. Or lied about where they work. Some of you guys could be dealing with the Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, as well as yourself. But I feel like there's um, some work. There's some effort. Maybe you're putting in some effort. And then you find out that someone could have possibly been lying could have been cheating, could have been being manipulative. Maybe possibly something from their past with the Six of Cups, okay? Maybe someone didn't close out a chapter from their past. Some of you guys could be dealing with the Fire Sign, um, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Okay. 
Maybe someone isn't being honest about their past. About the six of cups. And there's a sense of feeling defeated and there could possibly be some conflict, okay? So, five of wands, possibly some conflict coming in. Say for the five of wands, let's see. Yeah, be careful, guys, because it seems like there's like a physical fight, okay? There could be a physical fight here. Clarify the Ten of Wands. It's like you have to defend yourself. Ten of Wands. Okay. There's a lot of feelings, a lot of emotions here. Um, some of you guys are definitely dealing with the Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, but I feel like there's a lot of healing or a lot of... Um, balance that needs to be found because i definitely do sense that there could actually be an altercation here someone could actually be getting to a fight a physical fight someone is being patient you've been feeling like i've been being patient with you they the seven of pentacles Yep, nine of wands on guard, okay? On the lookout. Nine of pentacles. It's like I've been looking out for you. I've been being patient. I've been looking out for you in this relationship. Ace of wands. Okay, so in a recent past, you could have been doing things on your own and, you know, could have been possibly living a single life. There could have possibly been a breakup and you was living a single life and, you know, things were going well. But then it's possible, you know, you guys have reunited and got back together. Yeah, but you're going to be waiting to come back together, though. With the three of wands, you're going to be waiting to come back together. It's going to be, you know, it's going to be a little stressful. And I feel like you guys are going to talk about getting back together or working things out. But I definitely do sense that there could possibly be some conflict. I feel like there's going to be a lot of emotion, emotional baggage. That's going to possibly start some argument, start an argument. But I feel like... um I feel like in the future, you possibly going to want to work it out. But I feel like some truth is going to come out about someone's past. And it could possibly cause, you know, stir up some conflict. Or you could possibly be feeling defeated about it. But I have definitely sense that you're going to want to come back together, okay? June first through June the seventh. Don't forget to check your moon and rising signs, guys. All right, guys, bottom of the deck, we have unity. So you understand that love shared with another is amplified and has a ripple effect across the universe. So coming together, uniting, you know, to make things work, okay? When there's no coming together, if there's no trust, I don't care. So trust definitely plays a part in that as well. So what message do we have for Taurus? Oh. Okay, guys. The first card we have is satisfaction. But it is in the reverse, okay? So some of you guys are not satisfied, okay? Verify satisfaction in reverse, please. 
some of you guys are dealing with the Pisces. Um, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Or there's some communication that you was not... Somebody said something and, and you know, you're not satisfied with it. Satisfied the page of wands. Some of you guys are definitely dealing with Sagittarius. Well, we have the um, Temperance card here, which talks about healing, talks about balance. Um, so maybe there's a sense of needing to heal because something that someone said or something um that was done is like you're not happy with it okay and there's a need to find a balance yeah there needs to be some changes okay will of fortune changes or someone is like they're going to move on okay the next card we have is tolerance and it is also in the reverse so some of you guys are not tolerating, like there's zero tolerance, okay? So you appreciate other points of view because you sense the love in everyone. But I feel like a lot of you guys aren't tolerating it. No, like they're coming at you with how, with how they're feeling. You're like, okay, well, I'm not, I, I don't have to accept that, okay? So clarify tolerance in the reverse. All right. We have the Empress. So some of you guys feel like, you know, my mother didn't tolerate that. I'm not tolerating it. Um, there's, it's just like, definitely the Empress is like motherly energy. This also talks about new beginnings. It also talks about, you know, maybe some of you guys are dealing with the baby mother. Um, but there's definitely like, some of you guys could be dealing with the air sign as well. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Okay. What if I the Empress? Mm-hmm. Four of cups. You are not putting up with it. <laughs> you see how he look? He like, I I'm not interested. I don't want that cup. I don't want it. Okay. And so, some of you are like for real, like I'll move on. I can move, continue to move forward. King of Pentacles and a and a chariot card. I don't have to tolerate this because I, I can go somewhere else, okay? The next card we have is willingness and it's also in the reverse. Some of you guys are not, y'all not playing. You are able to compromise and if the end result is love, but I'm feeling like you're not willing to compromise. There's no compromising. It's either my way or the highway. We're going to do it this way or we're not doing it at all. Clarify willingness in reverse, please. Mm. Eight of cups. Eight of Cups is walking away. Fair for the Eight of Cups. All right, Nine of Cups. Being satisfied 